What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out some incredible 1.18 fabric mods. We're just going to be going over about 10 of them today. These are really cool mods to play with. I highly recommend you go and download them. All the links to today's mods will be down in the description below. And you may notice that I am standing in a somewhat weird spot. Well, this is a brand new series called Mystic Zoo, and this is on my personal channel, Almost Average. This is a multiplayer game with a good friend of mine, Geek Squeak. Both of our channels will be linked down below so you can go and check out this modded adventure series that we're doing together. It's a lot of fun. Basically, we are building an incredible zoo with a ton of mods in this super incredible world. So go and check out our channels. Episode one is posted and episode two is well on the way. So let's start talking about the mods today. First up on our mods list today is Oh The Biomes You'll Go, and this mod features a ton of new biomes for Minecraft. This right here is one of them, but there are so, so many. They are so cool as well. It gives you a ton of stuff to explore, and it also introduces some new wood types and things like that to the game to really make it a new and interesting experience. Over here, we are in the Weeping Witch Forest, as you can see on the F3 menu. Just over here, we are going to be in the Zelkova Forest. Zelkova and the Weeping Witch both introduce new log types to the game, which are very cool looking. Right here, you can see the Witch Hazel Log, and then over here, this is the Zelkova Log, or actually one of the Zelkova Log types. There are a couple different types of Zelkova trees in this new world generation, and over here is actually another one of those types of uh, Zelkova tree types. You're of course going to find your standard Minecraft biomes as well, so you don't have to worry about not being able to find a plains biome or anything of that sort. You're going to have plenty of the vanilla areas to explore, but you're also going to be able to explore with some very new and creative biomes. You may notice that this ranger's hut has some interesting new blocks as well and this green block right here this greenish blue is actually the witch hazel planks so there's definitely a lot of new stuff that you can do with just the oh the biomes you'll go mod next up one of the very few fabric mods for new animals is better animals plus and i figured the best way to show this mod off to start would be to show off these wild boars that we caught now these things are actually extremely dangerous, they killed us a dozen times already, but we already have a few captured and we will be putting these in a new exhibit. This mod of course adds a lot more than just boars, however there are a ton of new ocean mobs and just by going right over here we're going to see some, uh, some jellyfish, maybe some eels, things like that in the water. See right here we have a new jellyfish. These things are also lethal as well. You're really gonna have to watch out for a lot of the new mobs in this update. There's also a brand new nautilus snail. So there is a brand new way to get a nautilus shell as well, but it is still somewhat rare. Out in the ocean, you're also going to find things like eels, sharks, whales, and so much more. These things can be dangerous, but sometimes won't be. So definitely be careful when experiencing any new mobs. You're also gonna find a lot of new animals on land as well, such as bears and deers, and they all look extremely, extremely good. Back over here, you'll notice some very different chests, and this is from the expanded storage mod. So not only does it add new large iron chests, large gold chests, but it also adds vertical chests and really gives you a lot of different ways that you can experiment with storing your items. We can see here on the expanded storage menu, there are a ton of different new chests. You can even do a pumpkin chest. You can make mini chests. There's different colored barrels, uh, which expand the storage of that as well. And you can make these upgrades, which will expand any chest you need to. This will go all the way up to the netherite chest, which is of course very expensive, but has a massive, massive storage amount. And of course, as I'm showing off this menu right here, this is roughly enough items. If you've ever used just enough items for forage, this is basically the equivalent for fabric. There are pages and pages with every item from the game and you can click on each one to get the recipe for it and how to acquire in game. This will show you how to make every item in the game, which when you're using a lot of mods can be very useful. By clicking R on any item, it will show you the exact crafting recipe or even what you can do with those new blocks. 
Next up we have Inmus, which is a fabrics backpack mod. And this backpack mod adds a ton of new backpacks. This right here is the gold backpack. If we go to our backpack slot and take it off, we can actually look inside. And what we're gonna find is a bunch of redstone items that I'm working on for a new project. There are a bunch of different upgrades to the backpack. You start off with just a plain old leather backpack, upgrade to an iron backpack. I now have the gold backpack. From there, you can upgrade it further, get a bejeweled backpack, a blazing backpack, a withered backpack, and then an endless backpack. The endless backpack will take the dragon head, a withered backpack, and then seven endstone in order to craft. So these are definitely going to be very expensive, but will help out your storage a lot. Next up, we're going to be looking at two different mods, both from Macaw. Macaw's lights and lamps and Macaw's fences and walls. Right here, you can see all the different recipes for the lamps, torches, walls, and etc. But we also have some already placed around. So, and then some of these are some of the new fences that we have in the game. And these act as normal fences as well. You or mobs can't jump over them. This is of course very useful for somebody who's building a zoo and needs new ways in order to keep animals and things inside of their animal areas. Next up, we have the Falling Tree mod, and this is a tree mod that just basically takes everything down with one hit of your axe, but of course the damage of that tree will automatically affect your axe. Now, this mod does only work on trees up to 100 blocks, uh, including the leaves, so something like this is going to be a bit too big in order to actually bring down. But if we go over to some trees of maybe this size, we are going to be able to collect the whole tree right here which can be very useful and time saving as it takes a long time to collect mass amounts of wood like this. I feel like it's very fair that it only collects up to 100 blocks as massive trees like that would be kind of OP to be able to collect that many materials at once. But it does make so much more sense to be able to collect these trees with just one little swing of your axe. One other very cool mod we have is the Xeros world map. And this is basically going to show you everything that you've explored so far. I've explored all the way down around this whole area as well. So you can see this is one of the villages I found. We of course see some new biomes in here as well. All of this is super cool and gives you a very cool view of the world you've explored. This village right here is where I actually got the villagers that we are currently using for a trading hall and for farms. Uh, and I just boated them back across. But if we continue over, you'll find some jungles, things like that. I think this is a super cool mod. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is click in while you're in game and it's gonna bring up your exact location. You can zoom in. See, this is the area that we are currently working on right here. We have some copper uh, aging so that we have some nice uh, aged copper. We have a new barn build right here that is not quite finished yet, but houses an automatic wool farm beneath it. This is our pasture that Geek Squeak built. Uh, and if you don't know, Geek Squeak is also the one that made the Minecraft Hub Discord. So very big shout out to him. His channel will be linked down below. Uh, as well as mine so you can check out our new series. Next up we have Adorn and this is a furniture mod, also adds a few new blocks like posts, uh, some steps, some shelves, things like that. This is a super cool looking mod and it has so many new things. It also works with the bio mods we have installed. So the new wood types you'll also be able to see uh, like the supports or some of the posts that are around. This mod is very cool. It adds a lot of new building features. Over here, we can find things like drawers, which are super useful to house uh, some of the blocks, and it looks a lot nicer than chests in some of the builds. Next up, we have a mod called Shift, which adds some new workbenches and tables to the game, and a ton of new blocks. I believe there are over 2,000 new blocks in this uh, mod, which allow you to do a ton of new and very cool things in this game. Right here are just some of the workbenches. We have the mechanist workbench over here is the carpenter's table, the mason's table, and the glass blower. Back over here, we are also going to find the botanist workbench. And you can basically use all of these new workbenches and tables to create all the new blocks that the game has added. And as I said, there are over 2000 blocks. There are new carved pumpkins, new lights, 
new blocks, a ton of different stained glass, which I think looks beautiful. A lot of different things you can do with wool and carpet, a lot of things with terracotta, and then it also makes andesite, granite, all of that way more useful as well as you can turn it into a lot of different very cool looking blocks. Some of the new lighting added in from the chipped mod is this lantern and also this one over here. These were both made using the glass blower, I believe, in order to make these new very cool looking shapes. That, however, is all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to check out the Mystic Zoo series, go and check out mine and Geek Squeak's channel down below, where you can watch episode one and episode two will be out later this week. Episode two will feature finishing off the roof of the Ranger Hut, doing the interior, and also doing some very other exciting things in this beautiful world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some of those mods and I'll see you next time.